Aloha Ohana, welcome back to 808 in any state. Today we'll be sharing our recipe for lomi salmon here in the 801. So here in the 801 we can't find salted salmon. So we have to buy salmon slabs and we get some Hawaiian salt, layer it, cover it up, shrink wrap it, put it in an ice box for a couple days and it turned out to be salted salmon. So this is how we prepare our lomi salmon here in the 801. You wanna just slice your tomatoes. You wanna make it into smaller cubes, not quite a mince, but just a smaller cube. For the onion, you wanna use a sweet onion. Back home, we can get Maui onion, which is the best, sweetest onion. Here, you can find sweet onion at any grocery store. So you wanna slice your onion in half and peel it back. With the onion, you wanna keep the root intact if you can. Slice your onion. Slice it lengthwise. I prefer my onions to be sliced or actually diced a little smaller than the size of my tomatoes. I like my tomatoes a little larger my onions a little smaller so you can see here it's a smaller dice so you see the tomato and then the onion so here's our salted salmon that brad salted for us and again if you can't find salted salmon like back home um, you just get a regular fillet of salmon from the store, usually frozen, because we cannot get fresh salmon. You put Hawaiian salt on both sides, and like Brad said earlier, you let it wrap it with either saran wrap or you can put it in a Ziploc or plastic zip bag. Leave it in your fridge for a couple of days, two to three days, and then you have salted salmon. The texture changes a little bit after it's salted, almost like a jerky texture, but not quite as tough or chewy as jerky. But the flavor is just not too sweet, not, <laughs> not too, too salty, <laughs> but just right. So you wanna dice it into this, about the same size dice as your tomato. I love to have lomi salmon and not lomi tomato. So I like to have a lot of that salmon in there. That salt from the salmon also helps to um, cut all the rich foods that you normally eat with lomi salmon, like the kalua pig and lau lau and all those rich foods. Now you can trim that little area where the skin was attached, but I don't mind it. It doesn't have any funny flavor or anything. And there you have salted salmon in the 801 by Brad. The last ingredient, just to top it all off, is green onion or spring onion. Um, and all you're gonna do is chop it into small bite-sized pieces. We use it as a garnish. You can mix it in, whichever you prefer. And last but not least, as always in most of our recipes, Hawaiian salt. If you don't have Hawaiian salt, what can you use, Brad? Any kind of salt. Any kind of salt. Rock salt, maybe not, but more like a kosher salt or even a table salt. If you use table salt, be careful because the salmon is already salty. So here in the 801, this is how we put together the lomi lomi salmon. So add all your tomatoes so to you a larger bowl. Your diced onion. Diced onions in there. As much as you want. Your salted salmon that you salt yourself or you get at the store already salted. And lomi, lomi salmon means you have to lomi, lomi your ingredients together. What does lomi, lomi mean, Dad? It means to lomi 
to massage. massage. So Brad is showing you how you make lomi salmon. You lomi lomi or massage it together. You can add Hawaiian salt to taste, but you want to taste this first. See how salty it is. You want to taste, Brad? Okay, add the green onion. Mm. No need salt or need? You put some salt, a little bit Hawaiian salt in there. Blow me on around a little bit more. Throw the green onions inside. You can add a little more green onion. We like just a little touch. And I think it's good. So here in the 801, we have completed lomi salmon. So as Brad serves him up a little bowl of lomi salmon, again, tomatoes, sweet onion, salted salmon, green onion, and a little bit of Hawaiian salt. Perfect. Perfect. Not too sweet, not too salty, but just right. Thanks for joining us. We'd like to mahalo everyone for watching our lomi lomi salmon video. When we eat lomi salmon back home or when we have our food back home, it's all about music and ohana, family, get together. And when we eat this lomi salmon, that's what we think of. And we want you guys to have that same feeling when you eat the food that we share. So like, share, and subscribe. What is the channel? At 808 in any state. Allah.